Okay, today we're going to show you how to smelt gold in a potato. So if you're ever stuck and you haven't got a crucible, all you need is a steady hand, a potato or two, and an oxy torch. Come around this side. So here's our potato. We've cut the top off it and we've hollowed it out with a spoon and put it on a brick inside a box so if there are any disasters then they won't be major ones. When you're doing fine gold it's better to have a smaller tip. I'm just taking the moisture off the potato Now, we don't want to fill it right up, we do this incrementally. Gold goes in. Borax goes in. So what we had to do was because the borax was very fine and blew away, the, um, we wet it and we mixed the gold with it and we made a paste. And the paste has worked really well and the gold hasn't blown away. So now I'm just adding some bigger pieces of gold to it. The really bright bits that you can see in there are bits of quartz. And they, um, the quartz, any of the rock will get absorbed by the flux, which is what you put flux on there for. So we finished our smell in our potatoes. There's our two potatoes, so it's always best to do a little bit at a time. And then that's what we came out with. So another little successful venture, which is good fun, and it's always handy to know. If you haven't got a crucible, you can always go and scab a spud out of the pantry. See you later.